Hey guys, Dark Waker here, and today with a King of Glory gameplay. It's around Diamond and Master Elo, and we are playing. Let me check it out. His name is Xiao Haodun, and in Arena of Valor, his name is Arduin. He's actually one of the strongest uh, support, or should I say, warriors in this game. In this game, uh, supports and warriors do a lot of damage compared to AOV. Now, everyone is doing a lot more damage than in AOV. So positioning is key and people just build full tank usually since everyone does so much damage. Like the base damage stats are much higher, especially for, it's, uh, for warriors and uh, supports and even ADC they do so much damage but um, they pop just as fast because they are so squishy and everyone does so much damage the, uh, the skills are basically the same for Arduin only difference is that his base stats are a lot higher and the items are different in King of Glory like they are just better they have better stats. Yeah, they just have better stats. I really like King of Glory. I think King of Glory is much better than AOV. It's smoother, it's better optimized for the phone. And it's more balanced. Like, everyone can do a lot of damage. It's just about uh, positioning and skill. Or... And especially the meta is so good in King of Glory. Like warriors are useful, so useful, supports are so strong, and especially at the mid lane you have so much uh, variety. Like it's not only Tulin, Liliana, Flash like in AOV. Those are the top picks for a competitive scene. In King of Glory you have let me. Alistair is really strong. Crixie is really strong. You have a champion like in League. That's Sona. She's really good. And then you have a red guy. A red. Yeah, I don't know his name. I just call him red guy. He's so OP. And you would think that Tulan is still really strong in King of Glory, but compared to those mages, uh, Tulan is pretty weak. So let's talk. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm lagging. Yeah, yeah, I'm lagging a bit. Oh, yeah, let's talk about warriors. Arduin is fucking busted in this game. And Crash, Crash and Arduin are high priority in competitive gameplay. They are always picked since they provide so much CC. Are tanky and do so much damage Come up. Boom. Omen is high priority and ADC jungle is mm, meta in King of Glory they're really good you have a hero that's like Lucian and League and then you have a bunny uh, as a jungler who can use all her skills to jump. She basically has three jumps. She's so mobile. Maybe... I think I don't have a gameplay on her. And for Assassin there's a girl that's called Mulan. She's like the most broken Assassin you will ever see. She has... Uh, she has uh, her ultimate. Let's her transform into Assassin or Warrior mode. That's so good. I will upload her. Yeah. Did you just see in the tab? She's in the top right. That's her. It's a pink haired her assassin girl. I will probably upload her in the future. Maybe the upcoming days. It's so amazing how supports and warriors are so much better in this game. Every support does so much damage. 
Like it's way more fun to play support in this game compared to AOV. Okay. I'm recall. Okay, let me see. Uh. Like this is a voiceover, so I'm just talking while watching it over Vegas, and on Vegas it's pretty laggy. I think it should be fun for you guys. I can dash so easily with Arduin, he's so strong, it's crazy. Oh yeah, if you like more King of Glory gameplay, leave a like down below, or just commentate if you like to see more. I think I still have two or three pretty good gameplays that I want to upload. One is Assassin Girl, the pink hat girl, she's really good. Then maybe Lucian. But that's in Bronx. I have. Oh, yeah! There is a hero that's a mix of Xanus and uh, Kilgroth. I just. Darius, because his ultimate is like Darius' uh, ultimate. I have a gameplay of him that I want to upload. Then I have a game that's really good. Mm. Oh, there's a jungler that. Uh, he's a tiger. He's like Nida Lee. He's like a Warrior Bruiser Nida Lee version. He's so good. But I oh, I only recorded him at Bronx Elo. I don't know if you want to see that. Slowing, locking up. Yeah, one of the big advantages with Arduin here is that. He can spam his shield, he's so tanky, and then he's just a CC machine. Shield, no, slow, knock up, ultimate, again a stun, like double, double stuns. And while doing a lot of damage, you will see at the end of the game, I did a shit ton of damage. I'm just diving casually, easy as fuck as Arduin in King of Glory. I wish there was the biggest, like, we went there for the King Champion Cup tournament in Macau and the biggest problem for us was that we we couldn't read anything, it was in Chinese, there was no English client for us, like the skills, Akana settings, we couldn't do, do that, and Immortals was such a good team, their rotations and the picks were on point. Since there are five Chinese people and three of them played King of Glory already, they were really prepared and so they won the tournament or should I say the qualifiers and they will participate at the King of Glory Champion Cup um, in a few weeks I guess. I wish there was a, an English client. Actually, if there was an English client I would probably play this game instead of AOV since it's much more fun. It's it's better balanced and like every role is just so good. Like there is no role no role where you would say, yeah, this role is shit. Everyone does damage. It's just about positioning and the meta is more Yeah, it's more fun. Like of course jungle jungle you can still play anything, but you have like two top picks that are ADC jungler. Then you have Neil Lee, that's a Bruiser. He's like a mix of Lee Sin and Neither Lee from League. And Mages, yeah, Mages are 100 times better here than compared to AoV. And did you maybe do a patch rundown from the new AoV patch that will come out soon? Mages are getting pretty much destroyed. I don't know what um, Tencent or the AOV staff team thought when they decided the patch notes. Like so many mages got nerfed even though they should have gotten a buff. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this King of Glory gameplay.
Arduin OP, 40% damage. That's so crazy for support. And if you guys liked it, leave a, leave a comment down below if you want to see more. Or just leave a like. See you next time.